construction. <clears throat> We're going to take questions, Candace. Are we uh, able to do that or not? Um, we can. We are actually live on Facebook right now. Hold on. I want to make oh, sure. Oh, hey, everybody. If you've got, um, if you have a window open, make sure that you're seeing me. We'll and try to do that now. Okay. Right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Facebook. Candace is in 5D live on her page. Hold on. Hold on. So, okay. <clears throat> Guess what? It's gonna start, it, I had it set. I don't know why it does this. It defaults to only me, but not anymore. I'm gonna hit public right now, okay? Okay. All right, so we should be public and live now on my personal Facebook page. And I am so excited about today. I get to be here with my two really great friends, Greg Prescott of in5d.com and my partner in crime. We get to do a lot of events together, Michelle Walling, and all three of us are getting together today to catch up on a, a great deal of things. New Earth News, the Cosmic Convergence Conference that's coming up, and more about what's going on in our world and yours. So welcome everyone, and the first thing I want to do is thank Greg Prescott for sponsoring this show, because so many more of you get to see it and participate and hear us because of that. So thank you so much, Greg. And thank you so much too, Michelle, because so many of your efforts have also spread the work that I do and other quantum healers do around the world. And together, the three of us, I think, um, maybe make a mark or two in this community. So welcome both of you and tell us what's going on in Sarasota. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for, you know, representing N5D and helping us to expand to reach all quantum healers, whether it be hypnosis or other practitioners, uh, people who know that they're here to serve and are, we're trying to heal the emotional bodies of, of humanity. And it starts with ourselves and uh, it makes us feel good to be able to contribute and to work as a team. And you put two or more people together, and that's how we change this world. So we want to thank you as well. Yeah. Well, it's that's been it. a lot of fun, just all of the different things that we've done together and some really cool new things coming up. And I know that's some of the things that you want to talk about today. Yeah, actually, one, one thing I want to talk about real quick before we jump into everything is what's going on with all these shadow bands. A lot of people, and I've been contacted by a lot of people about they also are being shadow banned. They're, they're putting their information out on Facebook and it's going nowhere. It's going into the void, basically. A uh, few people might be able to see it on their news feeds and so on and so forth. But uh, it, it's happening to everyone right now. And uh, what I want to encourage uh, people to do, at least on my end, um, is to subscribe to uh, N5D. You can find a, you can either subscribe daily or to the weekly newsletter and not miss a beat. But I know that you're going through the same thing. I guarantee you are. And uh, people can find you on your website. And I highly recommend, uh, you know, physically going to these websites and because you're not going to see them anymore on Facebook. Uh, we're all getting basically shadow banned. So, you know, not just in 5D, go to all these websites that you love and enjoy because, you know, how to exit the matrix your quantum healing website as well. Um, and everybody else, go, visit, uh, physically visit those websites um, because like I said, uh, Facebook is shadow banning all of us. What and is shadow banning? It means that you're, you're posting your article and you can see it, but basically not anyone else, <laughs> you know? Um, I know on, on the N5D Facebook page, we have like 437,000 followers, but it only makes it out to maybe a thousand of them. And it, it's crazy. So we're all getting affected. I guarantee it. Um, so make sure you visit all these sites physically. And if, they, if it's a site that you enjoy, subscribe to their uh, newsletter. 
Yes, that's great. Actually, we at quantumhealingpractitioners.com have a newsletter as well. And we're getting ready to uh, kind of beef that up uh, starting here in 2018. And Greg, I know, you know, I went over to that MeWe social website because of you. And I haven't done much there, but this is a social network that is basing its whole identity on, you know, doing the opposite of what. Yeah, what Facebook is doing. So maybe some of the people who are watching this video may go find us over there. I highly recommend. Yeah. Um, what's really cool about MeWe is they have a, a live chat on the bottom of the page. So we, we already have a N5D Facebook page and I've got like five or 600 people already over there from Facebook, which is really cool. And uh, so, you know, come on in over, join us there. Look for Candace, myself, Michelle. Uh, we're all over on MeWe right now. I'm also on Informed Planet, Minds.com, Gab, uh, which is the Twitter alternative. Um, we're we're finding all these places that do not ban free speech. So, alternatives to Facebook. As right. a, as we're live on Facebook. <laughs> Well, you know, we're live because this is still kind of where our audience is, and that's okay. We'll we'll get our foothold over in those new spots, and I really appreciate yes. you taking the initiative and helping us all kind of get over there and get to a place that really aligns with our energy and our goals a little better. Mm -hmm. Well, I signed up for me. We haven't done anything on it yet. As a matter of fact, I found myself, you know, in the last month really not being on Facebook as much as I used to, um, because I've been working on myself. I mean, there's, I've really needed a lot of time. Some of these days, I don't know about the listeners out there, but some of these days you just don't feel like even using your brain, much less scrolling, you know, on, on your feed to, uh, there's just, it's like, you know, I'd rather, you know, sit out in nature or even spend time reading a book like this one right here <laughs> you know oh, Dolores Cannon. Oh, look, yeah. <laughs> I just I just unpinned this bookmark from here I'll go pin it right back up again yeah we are all great big Dolores Cannon fans and uh, I'm with you read you know and read a paper book I know yeah. it's easy I know it's easy to read on phones but, you know, people like Dolores from Beyond the Veil and all kinds of people are suggesting you disconnect from these. I know we're talking on them right now. I know we're yeah. using them right now. But disconnect from them, particularly at night. And if you're going to read, try paper. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we've been doing this a long time. I've, I mean, I've been in the public eye four years. Greg's been doing it for about nine. And sometimes you just have to take a break. So if anybody's wondering what's, what we've been doing, what's, been, what's happening, uh, we've had our own relationship challenges over the last couple of months. And, you know, for the last four years we've been together and it's been a gift to have someone mirror things back to you so that you can learn and grow. And really once you, once one of us heals ourselves and starts integrating our higher selves and pulling the energy back that we have maybe spewed out from our whole life and maybe even from other lifetimes, that's what's causing this massive transformation in humanity is everyone that can do that for themselves and then be able to share their experience with other people and tell them it's okay to feel it's okay to have a little bit of strife and conflict in your reality because it shows you what's left and what needs to be transmuted. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to be talking about that and the nature of uh, reality. Um, I have ever since September uh, been talking I would say at least three to four times a week with my friend Sonia in Texas. And uh, I've done three shows with Sonia on uh, my Cosmic Awakening show. And she's coming to our conference that we have here coming up in Sarasota on March 2nd and 3rd called the Cosmic Convergence. And Greg's going to be a speaker as well. Sonia's going to be a speaker. And we have our friend Maria Bethencourt as well coming to do a workshop on Friday night. Mm -hmm. Greg and uh, Sonia and I will be talking solely, the, the only speakers talking all day so that we can talk, we can have time to talk in depth about the nature of our reality. You know, basically the fact that we are creating uh, situations in our own lives so that we can see where the energetic emotional blocks are and clear that 
and uh, how this is, you know, my my website, how to exit the matrix dot com covers the fact that uh, there is a theory that we are living in a holographic reality, um, that it's not real, but it's real because there's, you know, consciousness is real. Emotions are energy in motion. Energy is real. But the we're literally interacting with a holographic reality matrix that mirrors things back to us and interacts with us. And we can learn just by knowing what the matrix is, uh, we can learn how to create something different for this for this reality for all of us to experience. And we're co-creating together, but we're literally creating in our individual lives pretty much everything. And we have worked, Greg and I worked together tremendously on actually seeing the energy signatures of, of us in the things that's around us. And when you begin to see it, or unravel it, that's when it changes. Would you agree with that? Yeah, a lot of times you'll you'll see maybe aspects of yourself in other people, not just within relationships. There's always something coming to you um, that, that that you can learn from. And uh, once you understand the underlying, some some of the stuff is good and some of the stuff isn't. And uh, the stuff that isn't, once you understand the underlying constructs of why and how it's coming in to your life, you can basically disempower that construct and move further ahead in your own spiritual progression. Yeah, but you got to own it. You got to own yes. your own crap. You got to own what you've created. And uh, and once and once you own it, that's when things start changing. And we're Sonia's really been working closely with me on uh, getting. She's a she's a a seer. She's uh, she walks into other realities. She has um, uh, the voice of God or Father talking to her in her head, which you know most of us would love to have. We'd love to have an insider, you know, telling us what's going on directly into our head. Uh, but it's very interesting to say the least. And I wanted to share this with people because this is the next quantum level of having your higher self or source uh, basically inside of you. Uh, you know, helping to run the show to help change this reality. So you can go, um, the listeners can go to cosmicawakeningshow.com to find out more information about the conference. Um, but we're, we're going to try to um, we have another show with Sonia and try to get this information out to the public. It's not like we don't want other people to be able to, you know, we want to get the information out, but everybody has this information within them. And what all we can really do is to share our own reality and what's happening with us with everyone and hope that it helps someone in some way i say get your tickets now because chances are these events usually sell out yeah, they quick. always do in sarasota so, yeah with, everyone wants to come here and experience the 99.9 percent quartz crystal sand and also meet us and see uh get together join like-minded people uh, be with your star family and, and before the show started candace you and i were talking about creating uh, something perhaps in London in May. You're going to be there again, yet again. And uh, just came up yesterday, Sonia and I, and if Greg wants to come as well, it's kind of hard to drag him <laughs> anywhere. He loves staying here at the N5D headquarters and holding the fort down. But um, we, we may all get together again and have a conference in London in May. So that'll be fun as well. This is about bringing like-minded people together and there's something about being in person. Um, when you have, um, when you start to integrate your higher self and you start to activate your DNA and you turn your own codons on, and believe it or not, most people that are listening do have their codons turned on, even though they don't possibly have all of their superpowers activated yet. Their codons are turning on, their consciousness is raising. And when you do that, and you're around anyone physically in person, you're going to activate the codons. You have keys, codons are keys that will activate other people's codons as well. And even if it remains dormant for a while until their consciousness um, catches up with it, they will get the benefit of having that when they're ready for it unfold. So that's, that's the domino effect on how everybody on the on the whole planet is going to get activated when their time is right is being in in person and and this is real it's like some people can come just because they want somebody to tell them this is real <laughs> you know i have to interrupt you and tell you right as you were saying london in may my uh, friend colleague and somebody i am 
catching up with and spending time with in England in May is Priscilla Louise. Her name popped up, right? Oh, as you gosh. said, London, London in May. And I'm like, that's the way this reality is working. Yes. It's like this magnetic thing and you turn around and the synchronicities just keep on coming up. And it's just like, yep, 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 mm -hmm. yep. I can see how it all will work out just fine. And you know, I've been stalling. I have, I have my flight from London to Berlin and from Berlin to Athens, but I've been stalling, 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 stalling about getting my initial flight to London. Why? I don't know. Maybe because of this. <laughs> and same thing happened last year. You didn't get your ticket till the last minute. Everything just worked out. You got sick um, on your one little tour. Everybody got like an Ascension yeah. um, something going on in the sinuses, That's which is the throat thing, chakra. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I kind of imploded uh, right after giving my presentation with you. But you know what? Looking back on it, that was huge. And it was, it was a kind of a new birth thing. And meeting David Manning there was, it changed my life, meeting David Manning. I mean, so even for practitioners who go and are speakers at these events to, to our, our, our speakers, they, they may not be practitioners, they may be just presenters, but meeting up with other people like this, you just don't know how that's going to affect your expansion and your future. And so that's why it's always a great idea to get together like this. It is. And we have so much fun with you. We also did an event in Austin with you as well um, in Sarasota uh, last year, too. So I'd funny. love to do it. Speaking of Sarasota, Katya Turner just joined and we had Katya was Hi, a Katya. See another, another synchronicity. Uh, she was down there in Sarasota, you know, just this past October. And uh, it was so great to hear her speak. And I can't, still can't believe I didn't get to see Cherokee and the kids while you guys were all down there. You were so <laughs> awesome. And all they went and it, everything happened so fast. Well, if we could, we'd like to talk about some current news that Greg follows this is his forte, and I think it's an important part of uh, what we're doing right now. Yeah, I know a lot of people have heard about QAnon, and uh, what he is is basically some kind of uh, insider that releases what are called crumbs on the internet about what's going to happen. And time and time again, he'll release something, and a few days later, it falls down exactly the way he said it was. Um, and what's happening right now in, here in the United States, we're seeing uh, a division in the government. And we're seeing a lot of people um, going back for whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. Um, but what we're seeing ultimately is the truth arising. And the truth contains a high frequency. Um, you, know, you have love and you have truth right below it. You know, it's, a, it's not that far away. Uh, but what, what we're also seeing, and, and this is what I find the most fascinating, because anyone that knows me knows I'm not political. I'm not Republican. I'm not Democrat. I'm neither. I haven't voted since Ron Paul. <laughs> we'll put it that way. It's how long ago was that? 2008. But um, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not political. But what's what the part I find most fascinating is the alchemy of it, because, you know, as above, so below what's going on down here is happening above in the aether. So what we're seeing right here. You know, they call this down here draining the swamp. Well, essentially, that's going on in the ethers up above. Uh, you know, the reptilians, the draconians are all getting rounded up right now. We still have an issue. We're still here. We're, we haven't made it to 5D yet or beyond, but we're still here. But what we're seeing has to be happening above if it's happening below. So this is why I follow this and I find it so fascinating. But the main point I, I really want to bring up on top of that is don't get caught up on, in all of it so much because even that the truth is still a distraction from you going within uh, remember to find that time to go within and look for the truth within yourself to find that time to ground to clear your mind of everything and just go within and and get the answers there well and uh to further that up there's this thing called a uh, uh, fisa memo is it F -I FISA. fisa memo see how much i know about it and Magenta just wrote an article for us. We're going to talk about this new thing we have on N5D. Uh, Magenta Pixie, um, who was supposed to be at our London uh, conference, and she had to cancel at the last minute. I really hope she can join us if we do this in May this year. But she wrote an article called uh, FISA Memo and Our Transition into the New Earth. And this FISA Memo was released a couple of days ago. and. Right. 
Friday, mm -hmm. and it has information that would impl implicate um, Clinton and the administration in trying to throw the, the, FBI, the, the CIA, yeah, trying to throw the election mm -hmm. and like evidence. And, uh, you know, I, in my 3D self, sometimes I was going, well, what good is that going to do? You know, if it's not out on the news, people aren't going, you know, people aren't going to be either believe it or it's, you know, what impact could that possibly have? Just one little memo. And little did I know the, the, the nine that Magenta channels basically said what Greg, Greg was saying, one huge piece of truth like that could reverberate and have such an impact on the fourth dimension where this, um, this uh, inverted false light matrix exists that is this um, overlay that most people uh, who haven't woken up are literally under a spell because of this frequency and, and this programming that they have created. It literally vibrates that apart. Anytime that we speak, like we speak our own truth, uh, it's literally vibrating that apart to where one day we'll wake up and this veil will literally be uh, gone. Mm -hmm. And so it is important for some little thing like a memo, even if it just hits the alternative media, the number of people it just takes a small number of people to acknowledge and uh, that that, you know, yes, that it's finally happening. And it's like more domino effect, people, more things just start unfolding that can rapidly change our reality. One thing too, also, uh, you know, this, this morning you were talking about how you went within, you felt this butterfly effect going throughout you, the tingly kind of thing. And I, I get that too when, when I have a little meditation altar over there that I meditate in front of. And uh, I'll, I'll get to that point of clearing my mind and I'll envision that I'm embodying creator himself, itself, I should say, because obviously it has no gender. But when I do that, I get this same tingly feeling all over my body. It just it just lights you right up. You feel like you're going to float away. Well, I don't want to really jump around, but it's very important that um, one of the topics that I'll just jump right into, Candice, you're not going to even get a chance to talk with us going on here. I've had two cups of coffee today. Um, no, uh, it's the fact that um, people, as, these, as the truth begins to reverberate through our reality and up through the fourth dimension and connecting with the love of the fifth dimension and, and everything molding into one. Um, it, it, we have to realize that if we, when people start waking up, the number one thing I think they need to realize is that we are an aspect of source. We're an aspect of the creator of this reality. And um, we're all connected. We're all aspects of source. And um, if we stand in and body in this body, starting with integrating our higher self, but going all the way to source and saying, I am the creator of my reality. Oh my gosh, you better be ready in your reality when you state that, because that's when things start holding upon itself and we get down to that singularity and that's how we change this reality. So what he was talking about this morning, I was having a little difficult time with my son who just moved away all the way to Colorado to go to school and um, I couldn't get a hold of him. And all these thoughts were in my mind, you know, all the things a mother can think of of what's happened to their son. Right. And I kept saying, no, stop, erase, erase, erase that. And finally, I just laid there and I just connected with source, with the source inside of me and connected and, and imagined my son safe, lying, lying in bed, sleeping safe, you know, and I, I changed my reality. I changed my own version of the reality, what's happening. Who knows what really happened with my son out there? All I know in my reality, he finally texted me this morning that his phone was dead and that's why he didn't reply, which of course is probably not true. But, but when you <laughs> connected, how, that's oh, when the you... tingly, just these waves of energy, not necessarily just up and down, but right. just Crumb all shocker, throughout. Everything. It yeah. felt like when you used to get that excited feeling on Christmas morning, when you'd go to see what Santa brought you and you had this butterflies in your stomach, it's everywhere. It goes everywhere. And that's when I was really embodying and connecting with the source inside of me, um, which is, um, I think the number one thing, if anybody wants to share with other people who are just about to be waking up because of this mass wave of awakening that's going to happen because of 
this truth movement, this disclosure, whether it's um, about what's happened in the political or the banking, or it doesn't matter. Disclosure is the truth about the nature of our reality and the way that we've been controlled and who we are. We are an aspect of source having, we're not a body, we're in a body and the body happens to have some amazing abilities that we're going to be able to turn on, but it does have keys and the keys are tied to consciousness and you can only um, inhabit a body that's turned on if you have the consciousness to use it right. So it's a safeguard. So that's, that's pretty much how I, Oh, everything ties together. And don't get too focused on like end dates. I, I know there's a lot of dates that are put out there. We all feel it's impending, you know, this transition, whatever, whenever that's going to be, it's going to happen. Just know that everything is happening in perfect divine order, in perfect timing. Um, I know, you know, there are dates out there. Of, and people are, some people are saying, you know, and by, by March or something. Other people are saying by the end of the year and this and that. Don't get too tied up in it because it's all working out perfectly right now. So um, you know, just remember to go within and, and seek that, that, that feeling of, 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 of butterflies, as uh, <laughs> Michelle explains it. For me, it's just this tingling feeling all over, especially in the crown chakra. No, I want it to happen in, in March. <laughs> I, I'm well, totally cool with that. But what I'm I, gonna... what I think might be interesting to mention or to note, you know, being a quantum healer and having these conversations with so many people is, there's different um, facets of awakening. There's not just awake and not awake. You can wake up and then there's more waking up and more expansion and more waking up and more and more and more. So it's also good to not get too complacent and think, well, I just know all that already because even the things that have happened in my life just since this year has begun, <laughs> have been kind of amazing. And if you keep your eyes open and keep your heart open and your awareness to the magic that can happen around you, it just keeps getting better, doesn't it? It does. I think um, we have to be careful that we don't judge others um, and think, first of all, we have to make sure that our ego doesn't get in the way. and We don't think that we know it all. All we can do is share the excitement and the truth that we have we have to be careful because um, as you very well know from Dolores's books and from the different, you know, understandings we have, not everyone is on the same page and not, not, not everyone will ever be on the same page. Everyone has their own um, level of ascension, basically based on their soul's um, guidance. You know, some people didn't come here to get, you know, on the ascension ladder, whatever you want to call it, the new earth kick some people came here just to be born in a body and say that they were here to hold the light but they've already ascended you know you never know what somebody's individual path is so we we i hope that we never come across as knowing th thinking that we know everything but we get so excited to share because we happen to, greg in particular happens to be tied into about one to three million viewers a month on n5d and sees a lot more feedback than most people get to see. So he has pretty much a pulse of the collective consciousness. And when he mentions something and gets such tremendously positive feedback from so many people, then you have to say, well, the collective, that's a pretty good percentage um, of the collective that's agreeing, then, then perhaps we will collectively make this true. So that's where we feel like that we know a little bit more than maybe some people as not teachers or leaders, but disseminators of information. And uh, like Allison Coe says, she's just the messenger. She is sharing with what her clients um, of a majority of them have agreed and said. There's patterns and, and we report on the patterns. Yeah. I, I see a uh, question in the queue there, uh, Maria Sandstrom is asking, can we teach ourselves to meditate or do you recommend classes? And I think that goes on an individual basis. <laughs> You're wild. I have a hair, hair. I have a hair that's going into my mouth. Hair. I have a fan that's blowing. Yes, it's right into my mouth. Did they turn that off? No, it's okay. okay. But I think that's on an individual basis. You're gonna be led to exactly the type of meditation, what kind of meditation you want to 
want to uh, experience just by researching it. You'll find that there are different styles of meditation, but in the end, I think we all end up doing our own uh, meditations in whatever way possible. You know, myself, I'll sit in front of my, I have a little altar and I've got little things on it, rocks, uh, gemstones and little Buddhas and stuff like that on there, incense, uh, Himalayan salt lamps. <laughs> but that that's me. Uh, Michelle, she can meditate in a bath taking a bath with her. Um, hey, that's my favorite place. It reminds me, it reminds me to meditate when I sit in a bath. I'm like, okay, yes, this is the place and the time to be quiet. And I put salt in my bath. Yes. That's my daily meditation is my bath. Yeah. Yeah. So bottom line, I think, and this is just my opinion is to experience, uh, do some research, go on YouTube, watch some videos, Look into all of it, you know, and, and find what works for you. And you might end up just taking a little from here and a little from there and making your own meditation. What do you think? I think it's very, very important for people to find what feels right to them and to stop trying so hard to do certain techniques and, and things that um, maybe they can't quite get right or don't feel comfortable with. Um, well, if there's one thing I learned from my two QHHT sessions with Alba Weinman that you can find on her YouTube uh, channel. My name is not on there, but um, you can maybe see my face. I think one of them is number 180. I can't remember the numbers. And I'm really bad with numbers and names. But is that um, I, after, after, after doing the work of connecting with source and my higher self, sometimes when I'm on, I'm on and I'm literally a walking meditation. I'm a walking <laughs> higher self. And it's like, where do you, where do we think our thoughts actually come from? They either come from the false matrix programming of other beings or just programming of the way things should be. And you think that, or they come from your higher self, you know? So we're the eighth there where everyone's drawing from or the collective, yeah, but yeah. the key is to really become, you know, your walking, talking higher self. So, um, we, I am more in meditation, a walking daily open eye meditation than I realize. And that's, I just share that with everyone because I think that, I think that people that, that ask these questions really need to, uh, understand that they're, they're way further along than they realize. And they're already doing what they need to do. And um, you can meditate in nature. You can um, just sitting in nature and meditation to me um, would be just to turn off uh, those thoughts in your mind that aren't either yours or that aren't in the highest and best good for, for, for you that aren't loving or just in some people think it means having no thoughts at all. And if that's the, what works for them, then fine. But I think meditation actually for me is being able to cut out all the chatter so that I can receive um, higher uh, thoughts from my higher self. But I get a lot of ideas, like you said, in the bath. I get a lot of ideas in the bath. And it's kind of like I start talking to myself in my head. Yes. For those that, for those that are more advanced, um, on In5D, you can find a, it's called a third eye mirror meditation. It's really cool but I only recommend it for people that are more advanced because what you're gonna see is, well, what happens is you, you have a mirror, you shut off all the lights, put a candle in front of you. And what you're doing is you're focusing on your third eye. You're staring at it and you're just relaxing your eyes. Kind of like what you're, you do at one of those 3D images that you relax your eyes and you see an image inside of the picture. But it's a mirror, uh, 3D uh, mirror meditation uh, where you'll see yourself transform into other aspects of yourself. You're going to see male, female, perhaps different beings from other planets. Uh, at one point, though, I did see this like ogre like like being staring me back, big red eyes, fangs like that staring me back. And it tried, but you know, for me, I'm like, uh, I, I ask that you leave immediately. You're not welcome here. Only those with the highest vibration of truth, love, and light are welcome. He disappears. And, uh, you know, that could freak a lot of people out. Also seeing your, your face transform into all these different people, male, female of different ages, that could freak someone out. But if you're ready for it, it's really fascinating. Another time I was doing that, I had this huge orange orb that was just hanging out over my shoulder while I was doing that third eye mirror meditation. So you never know what you're going to get out of it. I never had any of that because I haven't <laughs> done that one yet. But see, you, do you see... Everyone listening, do you see how there can be so many different ways and so many different things that people say? 
And you don't have to do any of that. You can do whatever you want to do, yep. or you can try it and see if it works for you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Absolutely. There's another question up here from Sasa. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that last name. Sasha, <laughs> me. I know Sasha. You say Sasha. Okay, Sasha. Uh, could you talk about the event? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I'd like to start with you okay. and your, your um, vision and dreams. Okay. Well, the first thing that happened was I had this dream of uh, three tidal waves. And uh, you know, I'm, so I walk, I'm walking out on the beach and I look up and I see this huge tidal wave coming towards me. So I turn around and I, I, I go back in the other direction away from the ocean and I see a beach house and I'm going to go in there. But while I'm going to the beach house, another one much bigger is coming from the opposite direction. And so I go into the beach house, the waves converge over the beach house and then they go back again. And while I'm in there, I could stick my hand through the window and touch the water and pull it back in. It was really cool. And the whole, th the whole time, no panic, no fear, nothing. Uh, so the waves recede, the water recedes, and uh, I get out and I look up and once again, from the same direction of the second wave, that huge wave, another one's coming. So I go back into the beach house, the water washes over and goes back again and I get out. And I remember at that point, my truck, which I don't own a truck, but it was up on top of the mountain. So I go up on top of the mountain to get it and all the energy had changed at that point. There was just like this really loving feeling that was going on. So when I look back at this dream, and I made a video of it and an article. You can find both of them on the N5D YouTube channel and N5D. But uh, what that dream meant was water is energy. These are waves of energy that are coming, huge waves of energy. And the first two will converge, and then there's a final cleansing wave after that. Uh, so, so that's what we're experiencing right now. I think we're like in the verge of you know, the, the ripples of the, these two waves coming right now. And I think people can feel that. The other thing was I, I get visions, I see things and before they happen. And this one was, I, I saw myself standing in front of myself, if that makes sense. But in an instant, this white light floods the planet. And that was, I was explaining it to you when I got that vision, Michelle was with me. And that was the exact word I used, floods, just like the tidal wave, uh, you know, floods over the planet. This white light floods the planet, wave of energy, and one that completely transformed. This is it. That to me, that's the event. When this white light floods the planet, the only thing you can feel is this unconditional love to a magnitude you can't express on this planet. And I've talked to a couple other people who have felt the same thing and explained it the same way. You can't imagine the one thing you love the most, magnify that by a million times, and you're still underestimating it. <laughs> So there's no there's no more uh, third dimensional crap. You don't worry about whether your job your job sucks and your boss is an asshole. You know it, none of that stuff. My money, government, religion, none of that stuff matters anymore. When when this white light floods the planet, it's just this most incredible unconditional love that you can feel. I think well, a lot of us are getting little bits of this. You you reminded me of a dream I had a couple of days ago that on the outside of it may have seemed like a, like a crummy dream. I, I was just walking down the street and I watched this man get out of a car and he was very, very angry and had a great big gun. And I don't usually dream these kinds of things at all. And I'm thinking, wow, I wonder why he's so angry. And he's like looking around and he looks at me and he's like, got this great big gun and he's pointing at me. And, but I'm like, but he can't hurt me. That's, you can't hurt me. And he actually like shoots this gun. And I even remember thinking, this is strange because I'm not at all concerned about it. And it's because I'm, you know, I'm an everlasting life. I'm not, I can't be terminated. I can't be eliminated. I think sometimes having dreams like this, when I woke up, I thought, well, that's really interesting. Maybe I'm having one of those collective dreams, right? A little bit, a little hint of the, you cannot be destroyed. No matter what else is going on out there, nothing's going to, you know, eventually or in the end or in the grand scheme of things, terminate you. You, you are everlasting life yourself. Was that last night? It was not last night, but maybe two nights ago. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I often have dreams of being in another person's body experiencing what's going on. And very rarely anymore do I have any bad dreams. But last yeah. night I had a dream about um, a guy with a gun. And, and I just... And you and I had a same people. dream about, about basements in our dad's house. Yeah, that's very interesting. It's like, I think, I think collectively we're taking out the trash for, for, for humanity is what I think. Um, but I, I want to talk about the event just a little bit more because it's a huge topic. And I think that um, a lot of people uh, have different versions of what they think the event is. And um, everyone is right because collectively, I think the event is a conglomerate of many things that happen if not at the same time, of course, there is no time. So it is happening at the same time. But what I really mean is the unfolding of several things that are going to happen that will snowball. And that does include, um, like, for instance, Cobra calls the event. There's this guy named Cobra that many people have. The uh, event is coming Yeah, the soon. event is coming soon. And, <laughs> you know, it has to do with, um, in, in their opinion, it has to do with all the the. Uh, everything breaking down in our society, like the 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 money and the the politics and everything coming to the forefront. And when that happens, then um, and the, the you know the truth will come out. Um, there's also the light, the the waves. Now <laughs> we've had waves of energy coming for a very long time. We we, we uh, yeah. interviewed um, Simon Atkins, Simon Atkins in uh, September of 2015 mm -hmm. when we did have a huge. Wave X that was actually uh, the scientists were able to uh, give us some scientific physical proof that there was energy that was coming to the planet that has never been um, it's never been that strong and it really did change uh, had a whole nother wave of awakening I think for people and then we also have um, the um, the waves of energy would be kind of like a preparation, uh, the last uh, awakening chance for those who wanted to awaken. And then we have the veil dropping. Basically, what if you had the glasses like in the movie, they live and you could literally see who back, who are the backdrop people who aren't real or, you know, um, let's just say maybe our sky isn't our sky. Maybe <laughs> it's, uh, you know, a hologram or something and we actually can see through the um through okay like for instance this one this one chick she did a video and i wrote an article on it and you can find that um on n5d new earth news coming up in a couple of days maybe this week she she did this video talking about how um when she was a girl she was able to, to walk through walls and she did it in school and the children and the teachers saw her do it. And basically in her reality, the wall didn't exist. So she was just walking. She didn't know she was walking through a wall because our reality is like happening in a void. It's in the, it's in the dark matter. It's in the space between. It's literally happening in the void. It's creation in the void. And so she could look all the way through earth, but something held her in this space that she was in. And um, so let's just say the event could be the fact that people start seeing the, the true nature of our holographic reality. The event could be that people really begin to make that connection with source like Sonia and be able to literally have a conversation in their head with their creator um, or with a higher aspect of themselves. The event could be many things, but I think it's a conglomerate of all these things and it's very exciting for people to share their personal, um, you know, what's been happening so far, which means that we are getting close and leading up to this. Now, there's also the shift, and that is the, the shift to the new earth. And some people have talked about it taking a while. There could be a second, there could be a first wave that just finds themselves waking up on the new earth. It could be a moment that this white light hits you and when you download a new program, all of a sudden, when you what you see through your eyes is now you're on the new earth. Could be a lot of things, but what we can go on are the visions, dreams, um, prophecies, um, the co collaboration, and and you know, is this wave something that comes and comes to us from source, or is this wave something that we've literally created in this reality that is 
washing over the planet. So these are all things that we like to talk about and get people's opinions on. And we're getting confirmation of this through the Manzella effect. We're seeing timelines collapse right before our eyes. I just saw, just had one last week that I posted on in 5D. I noticed that I, all of a sudden, thank you became one word. I don't, and this is a, 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 a Mandela effect that just seems to be happening right be, exactly. It's either what? one word or hyphenated. Yeah. One I, word? I, yeah. Since when? <laughs> exactly. I haven't heard of that before, but it, this is why it's important for people to talk about it, to, whether it's on MeWe, Informed Planet, Minds, Facebook, it doesn't matter. Get out there and talk about it. Uh, things that are going on in your life, especially the anomalies, any any kind of Mandela effect, any anomalies that are going on in your life, like sleeping anomalies or whatever, uh, talk about it because you'll find that other people, just like what we were talking about beforehand about the event, the, the third eye med mirror meditation, stuff like that. I was looking at the chat here that's going on and other people are confirming exactly what I was saying also. So make sure you talk about it, get it out there. Even when I uh, initially made that that video about the three tidal waves, other people, so many other people had that dream of tidal waves without fear. And probably a good dozen or so people had that dream of three tidal waves. So it's not just me. And once again, remember that these are waves of energy. Uh, water's a mutable energy. It can be solid, liquid, or gas. It's just energy that's coming here. So we have got these three huge waves coming, the, the flat, that big flash of light. Uh, Wilcott calls it the solar flash. I'm not sure if it comes from the sun myself personally or the Galactic Center, but it is a flash of light that will transform humanity. David Wilcock on Guy and TV, and he's written a couple of books, Divine Cosmos. Um, also, there's that um, that other one, the other guy, the other scientist that called it something, the Galactic Paul Super Wave. Paul 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 yeah, yeah. So there's many, and there's this, there's a lot of reference to this in the Bible too. Um, the Bible, you know, has been. Uh, changed to make um, our God like this, um, you know, this wrathful God. And there's a lot of things that were changed over time. Uh, but there, if you can decode the Bible and actually get down into what it's trying to tell you, it is talking about this transformation, this time that we're in. And uh, it's very exciting. Uh, I do, I would like to say, as we wrap up on that topic, um, that it's very important that we focus on uh, the new earth reality, uh, because I really believe um, Allison Co had had mentioned this in one of her videos. Um, she's a QHHT, QHHT practitioner in Portland, Oregon, and I've posted um, several of her articles that we literally magnetize the new earth idea to us because we are electromagnetic beings and our heart is electromagnetic. So when we're in our heart and we truly wish for, for this reality to be different and for people to not suffer and to heal all this emotional trauma that's happened, we literally draw that like the secret. You know, the secret is about the law of attraction. We draw that reality to us. And the more that more people that really start focusing on that, I would like to see more people talk about what kind of education would we have for our children? Would they get to pick all the subjects that they want? Would they get to taught? Would they get to learn how to organic garden or, you know, let them choose what they want, but what kind of subjects would you have? I wrote an article about that on N5D once. Um, what kind of, uh, if we wouldn't have a political system, um, how would we have, how would we vote on things? Would we have a council of elders? Um, what would our, you know, would we have supermarkets? Would we create um, um, replicators so we could replicate food that was high vibrational, but we could, it could taste like a hamburger because we're obviously not going to be killing animals. Although, you know, we still eat animals now every now and then here is we follow exactly what our bodies feel like they need. We know that we're not going to be eating animals on the new earth. Talk about these things and share them. And we actually have created on N5D a new category called new earth news. And this is something, if you go to the top of N5D and you look at the menu, um, there's New Earth News, you can click on that. And we are publishing articles in that category just about the New Earth, people's, um, exam people's uh, dreams or visions or thoughts about how we are shifting to the New Earth, what it's going to be like, what it looks like, what we want it to be like. And I encourage everyone, if they want to uh, share their ideas, 
with everyone else so that we can collectively uh, get that magnetized to us and create it. It's already been created, but we now have to have to attract that to us and meet it, meet in the middle um, to send those to me, uh, send their word documents. I have a, an article on there that says we need your help on the new earth news category. And uh, I think it's um, new earth at n5d.com is my email for those to submit your articles, to share all of your information because that's how we do this. That's how we bring it into our reality. And I don't know about you guys, but I mean, I'm really enjoying myself here, but I'm really ready to, to experience this new reality. And it's almost like, I just want to see how it unfolds, how, you know, everybody's got their own ideas about, about how it's going to unfold. Folks, if you're still here and you're hearing this, you're not on the new earth yet. <laughs> I, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, I'm already on, I'm already experiencing the new earth and I'm enjoying my life so much and everything's so perfect. But if you're still in this reality where, you know, we have presidency and we have, you know, the football, Super Bowl, all these things happening, you're not on the new earth yet. That doesn't mean you can't go in and, and out and visit it like through visions or whatever. But physically, yeah, we're still here. I noticed that there's a woman, Tanya Renee, um, that mentioned exactly what you were talking about, about um, the, the new earth. She had her own experience about new earth. So uh, Tanya, if you want follow what Michelle was saying there about the links and hopefully you can write about your experience with new earth and you can publish it on in 5D. I would like to see more people get involved in your forum, Candice, in, in your um, your practitioner site. Can you can you share a little bit more about that? Oh, absolutely. You know, as you were talking, I, I wrote a note because I wanted to make make this comment that, you know, we there's uh, approaching 600 members on our quantum healing practitioners dot com. It's a directory listing of quantum healing practitioners of all kinds, mediums, coaches, some yoga instructors, some people do EFT, some people do quantum healing, some people do QHHT. I'm actually teaching a class called Beyond Quantum Healing. I'll talk about more about that in a second. But what, what we do every week is we kind of update it in a weekly basis and we share exactly what you're talking about. Some of this stuff, some of this new earth news. I had a session myself last week with a woman who has information about the Hopi and the blue star, that whole story there and how she was a part of all of this. And she was brought into this entire story where she um, had these memories of being this other being that was in part um, responsible for a planet exploding. And she carried this great, great guilt. And she went through this uh, uh, beyond quantum healing session. As a matter of fact, I had beyond quantum healing because we did it online this woman lived in germany but we had a quantum healing session online astounding session that i'm transcribing right now i hope to share it in new earth news but it was all about how we create our own holograms absolutely and then tom wagabo another quantum healing practitioner he's from norway i'm in the middle of editing a story about uh one of his quantum healing sessions again coming from our community doing this kind of work with clients at a deep state of relaxation, they can access some of this stuff. Some of the memories come from dreams, some come from visions, some come from these quantum healing sessions. And so, yeah, since you're so great now, I'm actually going to remove your beautiful in 5D <laughs> sign. But I love, 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 love in 5D, the hottest esoteric metaphysical news on the net. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> but this is my... Oh, quantum healing sign. And so, you know, I thought about, thought about it for a while. And I thought I, people actually asked me for years to teach a quantum healing class. I said, I don't know how I'm going to have time. Uh, I can't sit down and just do this. And I got inspired a couple weeks ago. I said, I'm just going to start teaching it. So I'm teaching it kind of as I go, but being, it's kind of like being a stand-up comic or something or, or a live musician. I'm getting the energy back from those who come to get this information, which inspires me and helps me create the next thing. So what actually I'm doing right now is teaching my Beyond Quantum Healing, the same thing that I did to get this Hopi uh, story with this woman, et cetera, et cetera. I'm teaching that course on our... Um, support form on our original quantum healing support form 
for no additional fee. You only have to be a member of our directory, just a member of our quantum healing practitioner support forum directory. You know, a lot of these classes out there are very expensive, hundreds, even thousand, thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollar classes. I'm teaching my course right now while it's in beta testing mode. So this isn't going to go on forever. But for That's right quantum now, healing practitioners.com. I got to tell you what I did is I spelled practitioners wrong. I P R A C T I T I O N. No, you T I N. I had, I had two C's in there, and there's actually a T where I put the C. But anyway, yeah. learn how to spell practitioner. It's P R A C T I T I O N E R S. So quantum healing practitioners.com. You know, Candace, I, and we are only we are only three people sitting here, and we do so much work. I really would like to see someone step up to the plate in the Quantum Healing Practitioner Forum and do these summaries for you so that you can do your own summaries from your own QHHT sessions. I mean, you do so much, and it would be really nice. Uh, it would be a really nice break for you if someone could could help, you know, in that role and you could get it started and maybe somebody, else somebody who's in. helping me do that. A, a beautiful woman who likes to stay kind of low key. She lives uh, outside of New York City. Um, her name's Malka. She's beautiful. She doesn't really do social networking, but she helps me. She assists me in gathering this information stuff. Awesome. Stories awesome. That, yes. It's why it's taken me a while to do this, even though I've had this idea now for gosh, two and a half years, it's finally coming into fruition. But this, this interface, this way that we can do this live, I've already thought I'm going to do this on a weekly basis. I'm going to share the quantum healing practitioners, new earth news. And right as, I mean, I didn't have it. I didn't have it that title, but the day that I decided to do that, you guys contacted me and said, Hey, we have this idea. It's called new earth news. I'm like, and there you go. Another synchronicity. And you're going to be getting submissions from me and our community. Awesome. That's great. I can't wait because it's all about sharing on, on the platform that Greg, you know, works so hard to create to assist people so that they know what's going on. So when other people start waking up, just imagine it took me since 2010 to really come to what I think is an, an understanding of what I have. I'm learning something every day. Some of these people are going to be literally waking up and having to process everything that we've done in the years. They're going to process it in a day or two days. And psychologically, it's going to be a little overwhelming. You're going to have some people that just want to turn a blind eye and crawl up in a ball and not come out of their room. Then there's going to be some people that say, I knew it. I've known something all along. Give me all you got. Well, I'm only one person, but you can go here and here and here and here, and you can study. We've been, you know, creating this database of stuff for everyone. So when they do wake up, they can find it. And then, and then lastly, I would say that the best thing you, you can do for someone who's waking up and literally breaking out of this spell is to give them compassion, unconditional love, and learn to teach them also how to forgive themselves because there's such a shock involved. Like for instance, and in, when 9-11 occurred, and I'll never forget the whole world stopped and they're playing this plane hitting this building over and over. It was a, it was a holographic program that they were doing to ingrain this, that this really happened in your mind when it really didn't happen that way. And I remember when I found out that it really didn't happen that way, I felt like an idiot for falling for it, for not seeing but I knew something was wrong inside. That's what scared me the most, not about some stupid terrorist that scared me because I knew something was really wrong. I just couldn't decode what was happening. And that feeling is how a lot of people are going to feel when they realize that their government hasn't had their best interests in mind and that there has been a, a whole fourth dimensional reality programming going on to keep everybody under this control system. Mm -hmm. And what we're seeing also, too, um, as what M Michelle was just saying, um, there is a lot of people that are just for a, lo a lot of people that are just waking up. The, the learning curve right now is exponential. You can learn so much in such a short period of time. What we've learned throughout our years can be learned like that if you really put the time and effort into it. And just to touch on what Michelle was saying, 
one of the messages I, I keep getting over and over again that I need to put out to everyone is to remember these five things, love, express gratitude, forgive, maintain a high vibration, and find the time to connect with Mother Earth, ground, and uh, everything will be okay. And support each other on forums just like yours, yes. where people can type in a question that they have and they can have maybe 20, 30 people supporting them, giving them answers and ideas, even though everything is within, you know, it's also without, if we're creating everything, then that's us too. So it's, it's about connecting with other people and, and supporting each other. So thank you for mm -hmm. creating that. Yes. Well, gosh, thank you for everything you all do too. I mean, such big communities, such big outreach, such a great way to reach people. And in all those new ways, you know, for those who are joining us late, Greg is moving into some different communities, taking some of us with him. Check out MeWe and some of the others. Greg, I can't remember all the names of the others, but I'm starting with MeWe. Yeah, yeah. MeWe, Informed Planet, Gab, uh, Inform, uh, Inform, uh Minds is the other one, M I N D S, minds.com. Yeah, so you'll find in 5D there, and uh, because of the, uh, all the censoring on Facebook, um, you want to find a place that you can speak your mind and be happy with it, you know, and not get censored. So those are places you can find in 5D as well as myself, and Michelle will probably be following along too. I'd like to say hi to Kim Hutchinson, who's uh, been a writer for N5D, Pamela Jason, Tanya Rose. I'm just going to, if I don't see you, I'm sorry. Um, Holly, Susan, Orlean, um, Sa Sasha, Susan Orster, Joy. Thank you all for, for yes. joining us and, and share, share this uh, video with other people. And this is all, we are community now. If anyone wants to type up a... Um, uh, transcript of any of our our videos any of them or just do a basic summary and submit it for us it would sure be wonderful because some people love to listen to these when they're vacuuming or driving some people would rather read something mm -hmm. so the more we can get this information out the better it's all about uh, helping each other and support yeah absolutely gosh this has been an hour that has just flown by, but I want to thank you both so much. Let's remind everyone that you're having the Cosmic Convergence Conference coming right up in March uh, the 2nd and 3rd. And, you know, it's nine degrees here in Kansas, so maybe some, uh, some northerners might like to take a trip down to Sarasota, uh, warm your bones and hang out with uh, these lovely people right here. And don't forget to look for New Earth News and come check out Beyond Quantum Healing at Quantum Healing Practitioners. Dot com and again thank you greg for uh for sponsoring the quantum healing with candace show <laughs> one of the greatest things to ever happen to me in my life oh thank you thanks for being a part of m5d candace yes. we love you guys so much thank you. all right well thanks for spending some time with me thank all of you out there for joining us and we'll see you next time all right. namaste bye everybody bye, bye everyone <laughs>